fucking head as I'm sweating in distress. All right, y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys back. Um, I'm looking real crunchy, dusty, but we about to get ready. And I got to do it within like 30 minutes. And I just want to get ready with y'all makeup, hair, and outfit. <sighs> I received this hair today. And baby, when I tell you I have done a lot of tweaking on it because this motherfucker came ready for me to look like the bride of Chucky. I mean, the Chucky doll. We don't do that. So we did a lot of working it out. And excuse me, I'm out of breath. I just ran upstairs. I'm like, let me hurry up. I'm pressed for time. So... First and foremost, breathe. Okay. First and foremost, those who are having a tough week, a tough month, whatever it may be, continue to strive for your best. Continue to have, excuse my dog. He just wants to be in the video too, but continue to strive. Do not let failures determine your successes. Meaning no matter how much you fail, that does not mean that you cannot succeed. So keep on pushing forward and continue to be positive in every direction. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And no matter what negative, there's always a positive. And the most biggest thing is that you're able to see, hear, or be here today to be involved in this video. So I'm very happy and grateful that you guys are in the position to be here. And um, for those who are doing so well and, and just keep on going, you know what I'm saying? Get to where you want to go. Keep on striving and manifest your shit. But make sure when you're manifesting that shit that you're working. Because nothing really falls in our hands, you know? And if it does, well, shit, you're lucky. Let me rev on you a little bit. No, I'm kidding. But let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to do makeup, all that good stuff. And we got 30 minutes to get the face together. Now, I didn't say 30 minutes for the, the full grammar reveal. We're going to do this face in 30 minutes. So let's go. Okay, we're first gonna start with our primer. Make sure you put that all over our face to make that makeup last a lot longer. And then we're gonna go ahead with our spoolie and get our eyebrows together because a girl loves her eyebrows to be perfect. Um, don't be scared to overdraw or overline those eyebrows because we're gonna be cleaning them up with some concealer. So just go ahead and line them up close to the shape that you want, but also be okay with just going a little crazy because it's better to have too much than too little. So we're just gonna fill in our eyebrows, spoolie and brush it out the same consistency throughout the eyebrow so then when we shape them up with our concealer as we're doing now you have a better gradient transition to the eyebrow all the way from the root to the nasal area so this is the best way to do it after that we're going to go ahead and make sure we clean up the unibrow area and go ahead and place our foundation i use two foundations from red and wild because i feel like i'm somewhere in between i'm um, little i don't want to use just one or the other because it'll be too dark or too light so i just mix them up together and i make sure to put my scarf a little bit further back so i can of course put some of this um, foundation in the lace wig as well so it looks a little bit more seamless and it looks gives you that more of that wet lace look okay and then we're gonna go ahead here i did have to put a little bit more glue to this lace wig and let me tell you child this wig okay this wig no like i probably would never buy it again i love it now because it's such a pretty color but it took a lot of work i plucked for at least an hour like i just kept on plucking and plucking and this motherfucker still thick as hell but we're gonna use what we got and just keep on going because it is still a pretty colored lace and i like the curls that the lace unit has but it could have been a lot better and the tangling is just ridiculous so we're gonna go ahead with our blending we're gonna blend all the way through and then of course i'm still putting more concealer because i still wasn't happy with the effect i felt like more was needed so we're just working on that here and then here we're gonna use our lighter concealer. This is gonna bring out the face a lot more. Keep in mind that you wanna kinda of conceal as much as you can. You don't have to do a dramatic as I did, but at least at least under the eye. Because if you leave it that one um, foundation color, it looks pretty bland and no one's skin tone is just one skin tone. So you wanna make sure you get the little bit of lightness in there. And of course, a little bit of darkness so if you, once you bronze or put more darker concealer around those areas as I'm doing here. Usually I do it by the forehead, cheekbones, and then the nasal area. If you don't want to do this and it seems a little bit more 
you know, extensive than what you like, then of course you can bronze those areas instead and just make sure that we are blending that to the gods so there's no sharp lines. And I sometimes, you know, make a mistake while I'm going too fast and may not blend as well and it doesn't look as crisp. And I, I think I did it with this look, but whatever, we get the point. It still looked good. Now, my biggest thing with this look that I wanted to do, I wanted to show you guys how I use just two eyeshadow colors to, um, basically achieve this eyeshadow look i'm gonna have so i use this darker color and i built it and i just blend it out from there so literally this is just all one color right there i went with this really light creamy and this is um from naked natural palette and that was it i just it just depends how you blend out and how much pigment pigment you use excuse me you can get it done i'm gonna go ahead with my setting powder this one's from revolution and banana deep so I was at 25 minutes and I got that phone call of, are you ready? Cause I'm on my way and I'm like, yeah, I'll be ready. Well, let me hurry up. Then of course we brushed that bad boy out. And what I learned also is to use that blending sponge and of course take some up off of it. Cause sometimes even after you brush it out, you may have some left over. I go back then with my bronzing powder to make sure those lines are very dark and, you know, gives me that more glamorous, darkened up look around my face area. Went in with some nice highlight. This one's from Wet n Wild as well as my favorite. And this, girls, peoples, this um, lip liner I use from the Spice Store. It's Coco. It's my favorite one. <laughs> and I put a little pink in there, All right, now we set it up, and we're going to go straight to this wig. On it, but I do have my little wand ready. At like a uh, 12 and I hate these like I feel like it should be universal like I don't be knowing like once let me pause this I gotta pause my crime show but like why can't we just have the degrees who's gonna be walking around with the little pamphlet that shows what numbers to what degrees it just needs to be universal like what's the degrees you know so after that rant this is what the wig came in and Service card when in doubt, rip it out. Okay, on structure manual, so <laughs> it doesn't fucking save its heat coexistent. Okay, we're gonna put a little heat. I'll just. <sighs> okay, it's not melting so far. All right, y'all, I'll be right back. We're gonna go in the closet together and figure out what to wear. Yeah, so I almost forgot to bring you guys in my closet. Please forgive me, but I'm looking at this top right now. Um, excuse the bottom part. But this part's from Shein, so I might wear this one. We're in my closet. I'm trying to stand you guys up. I was doing TikToks and I totally forgot the whole point was, hey, y'all supposed to be in the closet with me. So yeah, we're gonna go for this top and I think I'm gonna do my black leather bottoms. How's my wig looking, y'all? I know y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this unit. It was horrendous to actually get to even this point. So yeah, this is where we're at. This is as far as it's gonna get right now. Gotta brush her back out again. She is tangly. Well, we're gonna have to make it work for today. So let's get my leather pants. And these are from Pre Little Things. I believe these are XL, it says US XL. 
um, maybe like an 18, probably. Because um, they run kind of big, so. Let's try this sucker on. I'm going for like a fall aesthetic baddie look. I really don't know where I'm going, so I'm not gonna wear heels with these. I'm gonna wear like some cute loafer slides. Those are like my two go-to. Anyways, they're comfy and they can make an outfit look pretty dressy. I'm trying to suck us on y'all. All right. Woo. Okay. Hold on now. I'm gonna put y'all on the stand real quick. A weird angle. Baby girl, I'm getting a fucking Charlie horse. Alright. We need a break. I'm starting to smell. Oh, Jesus. Woo! Please don't let this legs fall off my motherfucking head as I'm sweating in distress. It's ridiculous. We're almost there. We made it, y'all. So, let me back up so y'all can see it. I think I'm gonna do hoops. All right, let's get some hoops, hold on. And these are from Shein too, these hoops. Just put these on. Yeah, like this little cup, how do I buy a two, three X shirt and you guys give me this little ass cup? Like, you know, I do got little titties or something, you know. Does not want me to wear them like this? Okay, that's inappropriate. Okay. This shirt's ridiculous. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my slides. I'm gonna put on literally heaven with these because they're so cute and simple. And they're slides. And a lot more comfortable because I'm not gonna walk around with no heels all day. All right, y'all. Woo! Tired. All right. So, Bestie's not here yet, so I got ready before she got here, so I'm cool with that. Have you guys subscribed? Yes, I hope so. If not, go ahead and subscribe. Also, go ahead and thumbs up and put the notification on so you guys get notifications when I do post. I am working on a new project, hopefully a new podcast, and I want you guys to be following the birth of my baby, basically, because I'm really going to put a lot into this. I don't want nothing that doesn't look nice in the top. So anyways, y'all, I love you guys. Peace, blessings, prosperity, and two tequila shots for me. Love you guys so much. Bye.